It's the 21st of July and we're at Two Medicine. It's about six in the morning. We're about to start our hike up to a lake that's about 11 miles away. Um, looking Morning Star, Morning Star Lake. Um, and it's gonna be a beautiful, perfect day, it looks like. So follow along with us. We're having some coffee and then we're off. There is not nearly as much smoke in the air this morning as there has been at the last two mornings. So we feel very lucky about that. So we're gonna go across this bridge, turn right, and start up into Bearville. We're still getting used to there being signs and visible trail and things like that. It's really- It doesn't give an arrow on, on our side. Yeah, it does. There's it an, arrow. an arrow. on Dalton. There's a right facing oh, arrow. Yeah. They're on the opposite side. Maybe we can not walk off the trail on this time. <clears throat> Maybe. It's amazing they've put a bridge over such a small stream. Going to Bob Marshall, nobody cares if you get your feet wet or not. Here, just pampered. We stopped for a break here at Pitamakan Lake, and um, it's about 10 o'clock. We've made about 6.2 miles. Got an early start. That really served us well. So we have all day now. I mean, it's only a mile and three-tenths to the top of the pass. Right up there, we climb that. And then it's downhill to our campsite, three miles, so... We're gonna get to our campsite about one o'clock this afternoon. It'd be great. Sit around and listen to Tyler, the creator's new album. We're taking a break here at Pitamakan Lake. We're headed up to Pitamakan Pass, which is another mile point three up this apparently sheer wall. But um, anyway, we've um, it's about 10 and we come about 6.2 miles. It's uh, absolutely stunningly beautiful, which takes all the pain out of the hiking. When we were in the Bob Marshall, it was not as many views, so you tend to concentrate on your suffering, and here you tend to concentrate on the stunning scenery.
for a walk. Yeah. It is. What is this like? How gorgeous is that? I know. I don't know. I wish we could camp just right up here. Yeah, it'd be nice. We're headed down to the lake where we have a campsite. Got all the time in the world. We've almost made the whole distance. I think we have a mile and a half or two miles to go. So we're just enjoying the heck out of it. Talking to people along the trail. Um, just this scenery is uh, inspiring. So even with the smoke. Star Lake and um, got here about two o'clock. Left at six, I guess. So, an easy miles really, even though there was a major pass. It's a beautiful place. Getting some water for tonight, for now, really, and tonight. So, it's going to be a very pleasant stay. And then we've got 13 point something to do tomorrow to uh, Red Eagle Lake. So, incredibly beautiful place. Big news. Forest Service has a food hang here and a food preparation area that's pretty far away from the tents, which is a good idea. But go back and see how our moose is doing. I'm going to go back down to the lake. Okay. This is still in the same place. <laughs> 